हेलो ऑल वेलकम टू द पार्ट बी ऑफ लेक्चर 19 इन दिस पार्ट वी विल डू हैंड्स ऑन विथ आर इन दिस हैंड्स ऑन वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डू वर्क ऑन अनदर डेटा एनालिसिस वेर लेट मी जस्ट फर्स्ट ओपन द आर so what i'm going to do here we have the from the uci machine learning repository if we just go there and let me just open my net uh yeah okay so this is the uci machine learning data repository this is called banknote authentication data set so this is from denmark it says basically a uh, data were extracted from images that were taken from genuine and forged banknote like specimens uh for digitization an industrial camera usually used for print inspection was used the final images have a 400 by 400 pixel due to object lens uh distance to the investigated object grayscale pictures with resolution of about 600 dpi were gained wavelet transformation tool were used to extract the features from the images and these um variants of wavelet transformations skewness of the wavelet transformations kurtosis of the wavelet transformations entropy of images and the classification manually done classification 0 or 1 that was uh that was uh done so now let us start a analysis so data equal to we will do read dot csv read dot csv uh let me just go quickly to the bank note and all downloads uh and vacation so from so this is the data set name i have shared this data with in the uh, swarm portal okay so if we just read this okay so it does not have any header because looks like this cannot be the name so it does not have any header so we have to say header equal to header equal to false that is equal to false and now we have the data correctly read all right now what we have to do we have to put the call names call names data equal to c first let us take these name variants of wavelet so first one will be var of wavelet second will be the skewness kurtosis and entropy okay skewness of wavelet maybe i'll just say skew i don't want to put very large name skewness kurtosis of wavelets and uh entropy 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 and finally last one is the class which is forged or not 
right so let me just run this so now you have the these names are being given okay so maybe i'll just say wave yeah and now i think this is fine right okay next <coughs> I'll just have a look that how many uh, forged cases and how many original note were there. So out of 13,722, 13, no sorry, 1,372 observations, uh, 610 of them are forged and uh 762 of them are not forged the true original banknote so what i'm going to do i'm going to first plot data dollar variance of wave comma data dollar skewness of wavelength maybe pch equal to 20 now what i'm going to do is something you will i think you will have fun with it data dollar you take the forge or not see there is zero or one is there so what i'm going to do i'm going to add one to it okay i'm going to add one to it now what happens if i add one to it what is happening you actually is very simple I'm just adding either 1 or 0. It was 0 or 1. So all zeros have become 1 and 1s have become 2. Now as a color, 1 color equal to 1 means it's a, it will be black and color equal to 2 means it will be red. Okay. So this is a, this is I'm taking, uh, making forged or not as the color that I'm going to use. Hex lab is a, uh, let me just take simply variance of wavelength okay and y lab y lab equal to this is simply skewness of wavelet transformed image okay let me just make this plot yeah let me just zoom it so this is the data so now if we see this this data is very peculiar the data has a very peculiar shape you can see there is a very peculiar shape and uh, there is bit of a overlap between the two kind of things so one is was uh, forged which was marked as red or these are like these are the specimens or points which are which represents forged uh, note and the black ones are the one which represent the uh, original note so there is we see there is a bit of a uh, overlapping is happening but uh, mostly they are kind of well separated with a slight overlapping between the two so can we use wavelet uh, variance and skewness of the wavelet these two feature to do the classification so what we will do we will first we will set a seed uh, say sample first we need to set a seed so we need a number 1 h2 say 1000 so we will take 81 so 81 as setting our seed set dot seed okay all right and then n is the n row of data and m is the ceiling ceiling of n times 0 0.7 so i'm taking 70 percent for training data set and rest of them as text idx equal to sort sort sample sample 
1 each to n comma m comma replace equal to false okay and then so let me just have this so this idx is 961 cases have come and then now df train equal to data idx comma and df test equal to test equal to minus idx so let me just run the whole thing yeah so first thing i'm going to do i'm going to fit a simple model with uh, wavelet uh, variance of wavelet and the skewness of wavelet as the you know feature uh, of simple logistic regression fit first model will going to be glm okay glm um so what we have is forged or not is as this uh, comma variance of wavelet plus skewness of wavelet these two data equal to data equal to df train and then family equal to by nominal link equal to logit all right now this is what i'm going to do i'm going to run this model now if you run this summary fit one so what you have it's saying that both variance of wavelet and the skewness of the wavelet is going to have a very strong accuracy uh, so strong effect on the uh, both variance of wavelet and the skewness of the wavelet has, is going to have a uh, on the um, whether a note will be forged or not okay so let us take that yes and then now what we are going to do we are going to make the prediction on the test data set okay df test df test dollar probability one equal to predict predict fit one new data equal to df tests and then type equal to response okay so now if you see you see this all right so now you can see that these values have come zero and all this probably a point two four point so let us see if it is so mostly they are close to zero some point one point two and if we just go down to one and you will see that they are reasonably close to point nine point eight point nine point eight right here is a one point where you got a you know 0.26 but the probability is less but you know actually it is a forged node so there will be looks like there could be some misclassification possible so what what we are going to do we are going to make the prediction this is the probability of this particular node to be uh, forged node now i'm going to make the prediction df test dollar prop 1 equal to df test dollar prop 1 if it is 0 greater than 0 0.5 we will call it 1 and if it is 
less than equal to 0 0.5 we will call it 0 so that means not forged okay all right now now what we are going to do so now if i just look into the df test so now there all so here are there are some misclassification we can see but mostly they are agreeing so now we are going to i'm going to come calculate a confusion table okay so table table predict equal to df test dollar prob one comma actual equal to df test dollar forged or not okay now if i just run the confusion table so this is my confusion table actually uh, predicted zero and actually zero was 208 cases and in the test data set similarly predicted one and actually it was one was 160 cases there are 24 cases where it was predicted it's not forged but it is actually forged and there are 19 cases where it was predicted forged but it was not actually forged so uh there are there are possibility of and let us just check the accuracy so first i'm going to take the diagonal of the confidence table these are the correct accurate correct predictions all correct prediction take the sum of that sum of that these are the all 368 are the total correct prediction and total number of all test is actually just i can take n row of df test is 411 of them there are 411 of them if i just make 100 out of this so 89.53 so this is my accuracy 89.53 now if i make uh, i will make a second model fit to what i will do is essentially uh i will just update update fit one with uh same model plus few more uh few more engineered feature so i'll just take variance of wave and square them plus uh skewness of wave lengths and square them and finally plus variance of wave times skewness of wave okay if i just run this and summary let me run the summary of fit to so looks like variance of wave plates and skewness of wave plate okay was so initially variance of wave plate. okay if i just run the summary of fit one we see that both wavelet both variance and skewness of the wavelet is has effect but if i run on the forged or not whereas if i run summary of fit 2 where it shows basically variance of wavelet does have an effect skewness does not but the quadratic effect of skewness does have an effect and the interaction does have an effect so this is very interesting phenomena but let's see what is the whether adding this feature 
help me increasing the out of the sample accuracy uh, or not so that will be my that will be the real test case so what i will do i will just just take this guy copy and paste it here but here instead of probability one i have to take probability two and then instead of fit two i will just do fit one i'll just do fit two it will add a new column it should add a new column the probability two okay and then on the probability two i will make the prediction if it is more than 5.5 i will say one otherwise i will say it is zero so now they are making zero one okay here is a misclassification here was misclassification it was corrected here here is a misclassification there is misclassification so we will see and we can just calculate a confusion table simply second confusion table with probability 2 and what is the situation of this is the second confusion table for this with the second model and if we just compute the accuracy simple accuracy this is 91.97 so 92 percent accuracy we are getting whereas for from this first model we are getting 89.5 percent so nearly uh, 2.5 percent gain that we are getting okay so this could be accuracy one and this could be accuracy two and accuracy two minus accuracy one so 2.4 percent gain that we are getting because of the because of engineering proper feature engineering now let us see how the geometry of the predictive space has changed uh, using because of adding the feature engineer engineered feature so i'll do some visualization visualization to understand the effect of feature engineering okay let us try to understand that so first i'm going to do test data i'm going to define a test data bar or dummy variable and dummy variable data dot frame and with that i will going to see matrix n a comma n row equal to one n call equal to one or sorry n call equal to two so test data and this is the i'm just creating a simply placeholder okay just a placeholder and then i'm going to add a call names of for test data uh, equal to call names equal to dummy variable equals to uh, this two okay these are the then variance of wave <coughs> all right so variance now what i'm going to do so variance of wavelength as a range of between c it is between minus 7 and 7 and where uh, skewness of wavelength is somewhere between maybe minus 12 to 12 okay so i'm going to create this variance of wave uh, define minus um 7 to 7 by 0 0.1 so basically if i just do that now you can see that 
it just creating values between minus 7 to 7 with a difference of 0.1 okay it just created these values similarly if i just say skewness of wave is going to take sequence of value between minus 11 to 11 by 0 0.1 difference this is also going to create values between minus 11 and 11 with a difference of 0 0.1 okay equal distance of 0 0.1 so i'm creating grid i just created grid now i'm going to create a joint grid joint grid how that's how so for i in one uh, oh y in uh, variance of wave for j in skewness of wave and then dumb variable equal to c of whatever i and j values are there in the thing and then what i'm going to do test data equal to r bind data dot frame test data comma dummy variable all right so let me just run it okay so it has created test data with 31162 observations uh, if i just create that you will see that it has created all a complete grid of two values and now what i'm going to do i'm going to create a let me just put a na dot omit dot omit so there will be the first row will be deleted and now you can see all the values are being created now um, essentially what i'm going to do is i'm going to create for these all possible values i'm going to create probability one probability one equal to predict fit from the first model new data equal to test data and type equal to response okay now what I'm going to do is test data from the test data. I'm going to do a prediction and here is the whole thing. The prediction is basically probability 1 if it is greater than probability 1 greater than 0 0.5 then the prediction will be pink basically it's a forged that means it's forged okay and if it is less than equal to 5 we will use gray that means it is not gray color I'm just going to make this things okay now if you just go there you see pink and gray so now what I'm going to do I'm going to make a plot I'm going to make a plot that test data dollar variance of wave test data dollar skewness of wave and then pch equal to 20 color equal to test data dollar 
my prediction color whatever the prediction color now from the above plots i can i will just take the lab labels x labels and y labels okay so that is the my predicted area so red are the one which so any point that will fall in this area will be called forged note and any points or any nodes whose variance of wavelet and the skewness of the wavelet falls in this area will be called not forged or original node okay and then what i will do i will i can just put the points essentially df test dollar variance of wave comma df test dollar skewness of wave pch equal to 20 and color equal to df test dollar the forged or not plus one so i have to just take this and then all right so if i just run this so now if you see so these are the points So let me just so clearly you can yeah i think this is now probably better right now this looks good so what we are seeing here that these are the points you can see there are some misclassification point these the points which were definitely where will be misclassified and then there are like you know a uh, forged node but they will be called as a original node and then there will be nodes uh, which are original but they will be called as forged so there is a effectively a bit of a difficult this is sort of a difficult zone okay this is definitely a bit of a difficult zone all right now what i'm going to do i'm going to produce the same plot but for the second model remember that second model were uh second model were developed using the engineered features with quadratic terms all right so i am going to copy this thing so probability 2 with second model probability 2 probability 2 prediction 2 probability 2 prediction 2 probability 2 let me just run this so now if i have the test data i have now got the second probability and their corresponding predictions as well so now if i just run this uh, but the color will be instead of prediction one the prediction two now if i just do that so now you can see this is a completely different geometry a quadratic geometry sort of coming up nicely sort of an ellipse or kind of thing behavior is coming up which is a very interesting and now if we just put put the points here right so put the points here then we can see that you know 
there is a it is trying to capture these points whereas so let me just you know little bit increase this guy so it will be let yeah so this is the quadratic behavior that we are seeing here and whereas if you just this is the simple uh, without any feature engineering we will get a simple linear uh, you know discriminator whereas here we are getting a sort of a nice non-parametric quadratic discriminator uh, here you can see these points are getting misclassified right these points are getting misclassified whereas here they are not getting misclassified this point is getting misclassified but it's better than too many and similarly i think if this point is getting misclassified here uh, whereas sorry about that this is better this point are not getting misclassified so few points which are nicely not getting misclassified and trying to co capture this and overall out of the sample accuracy is going up so feature engineering typically helps remember that i have not tried the cubic uh, and the other higher order transformations in addition we have few more uh, data for example we have kurtosis and entropy which i don't have i have not used so my recommendation is you guys use that and check whether it helps you to improve the accuracy so i'll stop here and in the next video i will try to do a uh, predictive analysis with a new data set with a new problem i hope you are enjoying these hands-on real data analysis take care bye